Hey everyone, this is Robert Redden. I've got this quick video on showing you how to set up the follow button on your Facebook profile. Let me get off my page here. Uh, before I do, go ahead and uh, go to the official Robert Redden fan page and like my page if you find this video informative. So let's go ahead and go to my profile on Facebook and I'll show you what I'm talking about, that little fancy uh, like or follow button. It used to be the like button. And Facebook just recently, this, uh, I think it was uh, middle of the month sometime, uh, changed it to a follow button rather than a like button or subscribe button. I, oh, it used to be the subscribe button. That's right. But now it's called the follow button. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the steps on how to get that on your profile. Uh, this is what a person that um, is not a friend or following you would see when they come to your Facebook profile. So let's go ahead, close that. And I'm going to come up here to my little settings. And gear right there pops down. Go to my account settings. And then right over here on the left hand side, you can see it says followers. Now, by default, Facebook has this shut off. Why? I don't know. But Facebook does a lot of things that. Uh, I never can figure out, <laughs> but go ahead and click that button. Now what you're going to want to do also is you're going to want to change the settings because it's going to only allow friends and followers to be able to comment on your post. So you're going to want to change that to everybody because people like to interact and this gives them the chance without adding you as a friend to be able to interact with you and follow you. So it makes it more inviting for them to be able to follow. Uh, you could also delete comments that you don't want, but uh, just go ahead and go for everybody for right now and go ahead and save that. And then you're also going to want to set up your notifications. Uh, when anybody uh, comments on your Facebook uh, profile, and friends or friends of friends or everybody, if you have it set for everybody, you go ahead and set that so that you get this little ticker that tells you when uh, the notification, when somebody comments on that. So go ahead and do that, and then you're good to go. Uh, come over to your profile, you can click here, and check it by using this view as feature which lets you view this as a person who's not a friend and not following and you go ahead and you'll make sure that you have that follow button once you got that follow button you're good to go um, rather than adding a bunch of friends you can go through and find followers so i'm going to conclude this video with that um, again I'm going to mention my Facebook page here. Go ahead and go to the official Robert Redden fan page. Click like if you like this video. Go ahead and comment below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll have a bunch more little videos uh, like this coming real soon. I'm also going to uh, do a quick video on how to find people to follow. So you might want to get in on that one. Uh, but let's keep this video short and to the point. Uh, now you know how to uh, find or set up your follow button on your, your Facebook profile, your wall, as they call it. Go ahead and let's review. Click on the gears. Go to your account settings. Go to your followers. Make sure this is checked and you want to set these up so that you can choose how, who can comment on your posts and also uh, when you get notifications when people comment on your post. So go ahead and do that and have a fantastic day.